here we are, the start of day three. It is hot outside. It's almost hot inside. Started up with cold. Is that truck ain't gonna load itself? <laughs> Great big 585 acre wheat, wheat field. This thing was going to guess 40 ish, 40 ish bushels an acre. We kept for a little while last night. We had like a small pinch of rain. It is 2:15. We're getting started. Is this going to be a good day? Saturday? Not much going on. It's going to be a good day, Tater. This wheat is looking fantastic. It'll probably yield 40 to 45 bushels an acre, which may not be much to some, but is very, very good for our neck of the woods. Now it's been very apparent that we were dry in February and March and maybe early April. And it goes to show the low lying areas, which is like where we're at here, are just making a pretty good yield. But then you get to the tops and the hillsides and they just aren't not yielding very well. This spot has thinned out a little bit, but if we go 30, 30 yards that way or that way, it gets a whole lot thicker. some it was it's disappointing that just one small more bit of rainfall would have made a tremendous difference in the yield could have you know pushed 50 bushels an acre in this place uh some of the other places might have made you know an extra 10 bushels although it's been really good it could have been much better but i can't complain because this is a i'd say a once in a decade yield in my opinion for what i'm used to i feel like we could have had a once in a lifetime yield that we could have had just a little bit more rain, but I cannot complain that beggars cannot be choosers, and I'm perfectly satisfied with what we're harvesting here now. What's well, not easy is I become so used to auto steer, and suddenly our two combines don't have auto steer. They are classic models. As you've seen, one is a about a 95 model, 9500, which is a fantastic combine. It's an old classic. It's in great shape. It does not break down. It's simple, very few electronics compared to most. The thing just runs good and never stops. It'll thrash anything. It's great. This one, the one that I'm driving, is a about a 2003 model 9650 STS, which it is a rotary. Good thing we like this. I can run one to one and a half miles an hour faster than the 9500. Also with a, a five foot wider header, which I'm able to take in more bushels per hour, I guess you could say. But then on the flip side, if you get into weeds, this thing really slows down. It really chugs the weeds down. Um, at night, when it gets into tough conditions, this thing really slows down, whereas the other one, the conventional walker type machine, will continue to chug right along and not really slow down much. There's good things and bad things about in the heat of the day, this thing wins. When the conditions get tough, that one over there wins. But that's the way it is. It's, it's a good picture. As you saw in the previous video, we were bailing some straw. The uh, the 9500, the Walker one, lays a really good windrow. This one, just this style of machine of the combine, chews the straw up too much, and it's basically almost unbailable. <coughs> Pardon me. But that's good, that's bad. It's uh, just the way it goes. This right here is the thick stuff. Stuff we've been waiting on. Why do I have this tiny little grain car we're unloading into? Well, I don't actually have a grain car. It was borrowed. I found out that it's cheaper to borrow a grain car than buy one. So that's how we're doing it this time. We'll also say that I wish this grain car was bigger. Uh, it just, what we had available. And uh, now I see why everybody has grain carts. But on our farming operation, it just hasn't always been logical to have a grain car, much less have a person to run the grain cart. But here we are with good wheat and a person to run the grain cart. And so by golly, we're taking full advantage of the grain cart and I am liking it. Looks like I'm sitting in the passenger side seat. I am. Unless who's driving. It's her first time. She's doing good. She ain't enjoying it. Here. Be a quick bit of unloading at night action. Chaz in the tractor there. Dalton is in the combine up there in front. And we are rolling right along with this show. Well, boys and girls, it is late. 
could wait for quite a while this evening and uh, got a lot accomplished. It is really dark out here. be like wow. yeah Ooh. my life be like